So here we are in the wild garden and I was just going to dig up a bit of ochre that I've left in the ground for a bit too long. It's frosted over yesterday and some of them may have got got by that but I think we're going to be okay for a few that are deeper buried. And now it's unfrosted I should be able to dig in here and we'll see what we've got. It's all down here, it's grown over my grass now but they should be hiding under there. So we'll have a look. Ochre are little gems of, of tubers from uh, a member of the Oxalis family. So let's have a look and see what we can find. We even see some poking out just there. There we are. Little earth jewel. Right, let's see what we can find. by frost. Excellent. Wee, a whole batch. Look at that one. Maybe not massive, but they're uh, a decent size to eat. Mm, pretty nice. and see what, what else we can discover. They're normally not that deep. Oh, there's a few more. Oh, that one's quite nice. Great. Ah, successful. Well, this is the harvest so far. I've just done this length here. <clears throat> I wasn't expecting much. They got about halfway through the growing season, they got eaten back to the stems by... Um, rabbits I think it was rabbits anyway and uh, so they were checked a bit but we have had a few out of here it looks pretty good various different sizes some bigger than others so there's a good amount for eating I've got these lovely lovely little ones I've got a few yellows the yellows don't seem to be as big as the as the reds the biggest yellows are this sort of size and then the red ones, well you can see they're much healthier size. And then they put all these nodules in. Each one of these can be taken off and replanted. Or well, you can eat them if you want, but even the tiniest little nodules will be fine for replanting. Because they've got a very long growing season. Which is pretty good. Nice little harvest. Some decent sized tubers in here. Please with that. Look good. And they're delicious if you just uh, steam them or roast them. Don't take as long as potatoes to cook. And they've got a slightly sort of lemony sort of tang. Um, that's the oxalic acid in them. Uh, so it tastes almost slightly rhubarbish, but mostly they're kind of starchy. So they're, they're great as a, as a potato substitute. But yeah, that's the ochre. Looks great.